Okay, I just thought I'd throw this out. I got looking at my views. <laughs> Apparently my um, uh, little drama thing last weekend has brought a lot of attention. I got nine on one and ten on the other. And, you know, it's funny. <laughs> I got to laugh at it. But people pay attention when it comes to drama. And they want to get involved in it. They want to know what's going on and all this stuff. Well, I don't care. I did what I was supposed to do. I contacted the government, told them what was going on with this character that's ripping off people. It's up to the system now. I just got off my uh, Facebook and wiped the guy totally out of my Facebook. He doesn't exist. Uh, Jack Burdick's thing doesn't exist anymore on my Facebook. It's like they never entered it. I don't know what's on their computer because I'm not a computer guy. But I don't care. You know, it's a lesson well learned. <laughs> I started laughing when I seen that porcupine video. I'd love to take that porcupine and put it in that guy's house. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Anyway, everything's going by real well here. I'm uh, just taking it. I got enough money to last me until the first of the month. Looks like I'll be paying child support for the next 13 and a half months. Which is fine with me. Like I've said earlier, I believe in child support. I was just curious what they were going to do about that $5,000 when they gave me back my uh, 41973. And uh, it's funny how Remember what I said about drama? People will say anything to make themselves look good. Well, apparently the woman that I spoke to, just wanting an end date, put in the computer that I was going to pay off that $5,000. So they didn't have to worry about it. See what I mean by people create their own BS? Because uh, when I got my thing from uh, Defus, like I said, I called, spoke to a Sandy. Sandy told me what was in the computer, and I started laughing. I said, no, 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 no. That conversation never happened. All I wanted was an end date. Now, please, give me an end date. She said, take that 405. Divide it into the 5,000, and that'll give me my end date. So I'm looking at my birthday next year. Not this year, next year. I'll get back my 405 and change. So, next year when I turn 67, I'll take $100 of that over to the casino and play the big money. That gives me something to look forward to. So anyways... Uh, like I said, not much is going on. I uh, made an attempt to um, make this thing part of my Facebook thing. And uh, I just can't seem to get the blue letters in my uh, profile. I got the numbers and the letters and that, but you gotta type all that crap in and then hit enter instead of just pushing the enter button. You know, I'll probably talk to one of my friends that's computer experts and invite them over here to show me how to do that on my Facebook because I think it's possible. I think I'm just pushing the wrong buttons. But time will tell. Anyhow, I hope this one gets as much hits as my drama, but I doubt it, because this one here doesn't deal with any uh, dramas or that.
but uh, let's see if I can do a flashback one time uh, I was home mom and I was sitting out on the porch talking and uh, we were just talking no that conversation was down in uh, Buford we were out on the patio and uh, I got up early in the morning mom and I were having coffee all of a sudden dad came out dad looked at me and he goes who's in your bed <laughs> I started laughing and I said the bimbo <laughs> I gotta take her home <laughs> She's a drunk, and when she gets horny, she has her husband drop her off over here. My mother did not like that. <laughs> but this is a funny story about that girl. She came over one time. I had to go to work the next morning. I had to be there at 7. And... Uh, I got up, did my devotions, got ready to go to work. As I was getting ready to go to work, I woke her up. She didn't bother to wake up. And nobody stays in my house. No, 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 no. So I put her clothes in a plastic bag. I had to be to work at 8 o'clock. School buses go at 6.30, quarter to 7, so I know that none of the school kids was going to see what I was going to do. So anyhow, I took her bag of clothes and threw them in the car and picked her up, took her to the car, naked as a jaybird. Took her to her house. <laughs> Laid her in the front yard. <laughs> Got in the car and went to work. Uh, that afternoon, her husband stopped by work, said that uh, he got home about quarter to nine, <laughs> seen her in the front yard, took her into the house, <laughs> didn't say nothing to her about what I did, but he asked me not to do it again. <laughs> uh, apparently, he got upset with me about that. but. That's not my problem. That's not my problem whatsoever. So, anyway, this thing is going on about nine minutes, so, yeah. Things just happen. And, gotta take life as it is, one day at a time. And that's all I do. I just take it one day at a time. I'm looking at 8 minutes and 30, 40 seconds. I'll take it up to 45 seconds. So anyhow, you guys have a beautiful week. And I'll talk at you later. Bye.